Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff The. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. Welcome to the weekend. I'm Jeff Thee, and I have here with me today, well, we're at the Iowa Great Lakes Area Chamber of Commerce, and so, of course, why wouldn't I have the CEO <laughs> and President Blaine Indera here with me? Good weekend. Happy weekend. Yeah, I'm right back at you. It's, uh, it's more like I have you with me here oh, since well. we're, we're in our digs. And, and you know just how to greet me. You br- nice big black cup of coffee, and it's a little stout. I, I mean, made it just like you You like it. You could stick a fork <laughs> in it, and it would stand up straight. So. I, I, you know, my coffee can be used as an assault weapon, oh. <laughs> or you can drink it with a fork. Stacy Rosemore would concur. You oh. make the worst I coffee in the world, Jeff. I know. It's horrible. I, I like it. <laughs> At my house, that's what matters. That's what matters. You're right. You're right. You're right. (laughs) Anyway, boy, uh, as we're getting, well, we're still getting warm temperatures. Right. Uh, Sounds like next week towards middle week, maybe more like fall. Still nice. More fallish. Yeah. Kind of, kind of maybe reminds you of uh, Oktoberfest type weather. So you crystallize my thoughts, my friend. (laughs) (laughs) We're we're gonna guide right into that because it is next Saturday, the twenty fourth. Right. Uh, will be uh, University of o- o- Okaboji Oktoberfest, and uh, we've got just a slew of things going on. We so really do. Slew yeah, this away. is this is uh, this has turned into really a good event, and there are people from from quite a few states that come yeah. to participate in the bike ride and take in the activities, and, and we're super super excited about that. So, uh, bike registration, bike ride registration is still open. Okay, that's uh, thirty five dollars per rider, so you can get on okabojichamber.com and register for that. Does that cut off at any point, or is it, it all? It does. Yeah, you can register, I think, up until Thursday or so. But we'll okay. see how the numbers are going. We yeah. can play around with that a little bit. But right. If we're getting close to the number of shirts that we have, we'll probably, you know, shut it off and, yeah. and uh, move forward with that. Okay. So, very good. Uh, the bike ride starts at 10 a.m. Okay. And it usually takes a couple hours or so. It starts at? Preservation Plaza. Okay. Yep, Preservation yep. Plaza. Yep. And uh, this year we're changing it up a little bit. We're actually going to go counterclockwise around West Lake Okaboji. Oh, so, okay. Uh, we've been working with uh, the DOT and the City of Arnold's Park and the City of Okaboji. We're actually going to shut down the southbound lane for about a half hour over the bridge. Yeah. So folks can go through. Um, they'll, they'll take off from Preservation Plaza, uh, go down Lakeshore Drive to where the old dry dock was, cut right. through the dry dock parking lot, yeah. and then head across the bridge and take Lakeshore Drive around the lake. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be a nice, um, nice ride. Yeah, the, yeah. And, and should side note that uh, Oktoberfest is presented by the City of Arnold's Park. They're our presenting sponsor for that. Very so. nice. So thank you to the City of Arnold's Park. Yep, very, very excited about yeah. that. So, uh, But again, registration is still open. We encourage people to do that. Uh, the earlier you register, the better chance that you're going to get a shirt the right. day of the ride. Yeah. So, um, you know, we've got a limited supply of those. We've still got plenty on hand, but you need to get your registration in soon for that. Okay. Jeff. So. Next week you'll have to be sporting, or, or Morgan right. or, or Kylie will be sporting one of those. Yep, we actually ordered these several months ago, and so they went back to the, the print shop to oh. get the, the, the uh, things put on it. <laughs> <laughs> the logo, the same, yes, whatever it is. Yeah, you sure. know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, we do have a vendor show, outdoor vendor show right now. We've got about 22 or 23 different vendors that are, that are signed up for that. Yeah. That goes from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Live music by Shirts and Skins from noon to 4. Uh, the KUOO bag, bean bag tournament starts about 12.30. Okay. Have to pre-register for that. Again, you can do that at okabojichamber.com. Okay. Uh, it's only 20 bucks per team, so well, it's pretty reasonable. You bet. Um, a lot of fun. Keg Toss at 1.30, sponsored by MHR. Our insurance, Stein holding competition at 2.30, and then the Duck Derby with the Spirit Lake Noon Kiwanis have an opportunity to win $1,000 if the duck that you purchase finishes first. That'd be the best duck I ever bought. That would be pretty cool. If I want to won that thousand bucks. Right? <laughs> So that'd be fun. Uh, really, too, want to want to send a shout out to Sazerac and to West O Beer. Uh, everybody who registers gets a ticket for uh, uh, hops and schnapps, so you get a free West O Beer uh-huh. and a uh, shot from West or from uh, Sazerac. Man. So all right, get looped. <laughs> <laughs> well, while you're on the loop, Evan, yeah. I think we look at it more like refreshments after the I ride. I see, okay. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, well, you, you've t- earned it <laughs> after that 24 mile ride. I have so. a different view on things, Evan. Well, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I probably do too. Yeah. So, no, we're excited about the sponsorship with them and, and everybody else. So. Very good. Yep. You go, uh, all right, I'm sorry, okabojichamber.com. All the information there. Right on. You know what else I found on uh, okabojichamber.com? Tell me. I went to your schedule of events. Yep. And I found things going on in the area this weekend. There are some things going on. Oh, my goodness. Uh, at uh, Tonight, at Captain's Getaway, they've got Minority Falls performing. 
course, Farmer's Market. They're not done yet. Mm -mm. They're yep. over in the... Uh, on Lake Street, there at Arnold's Park Amusement Park, eight thirty to twelve thirty tomorrow. Twelve thirty tomorrow, and they've got they've still got entertainment going too. Yep. So, uh, beautiful way if you're not going down the Clay County Fair, start your day out there at the right Arnold's Market. Uh, and then our many many uh, venues in the area we have uh, Iowa State at one p.m., the Hawkeyes at six thirty. I don't know where Nebraska when they play. I don't they, either. But I'm, I'm sure they'll be somewhere. If you have a favorite collegiate team. They'll be on TV somewhere around here. You'll be able to watch it. <laughs> exactly. And, of course, it is uh, including today, last three days of the Clay County Fair. And then it's done for uh, 51 more weeks. And uh, and then, of course, the Monday night Vikings are the, the late game. Yep. Um, and I, I tried calling NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell this morning. To, so I think my camera just hold on. Yes. Yeah, what's it do if you get a call or something? Does it do anything or no? Oh, I bet. What? It's Kylie Zankowski. Oh, really? <laughs> and that's what happened. <laughs> You know, we, we, we went to um, black there for we a second because I use this main camera, this two-person camera uh, on my cell phone, and someone from the chamber <laughs> by the name of Kylie Zankowski tried calling me and knocked my signal off. Kylie, Kylie, Kylie. So, so Kylie, <laughs> be considerate when you're calling people. <laughs> oh, anyway, I tried calling Roger Goodell, and... Uh, you know, for the amount of money he makes, right. he can be in early. He can take phone calls. Well, you, you know, <clears throat> you, you may remember Jeff when we changed uh, when they changed the dates of the Super Bowl. That's right. They contacted Herman and the University of Okaboji to see if that was okay. Yeah. Because it always fell on Winter Games weekend, and you know, I think the Super Bowl had gotten big enough that that we could have two separate weekends. Yeah. So it, that was the thought process. And we there. earned that. I mean, but uh, yeah, they <laughs> they had to move the Super Bowl. Too many people were doing Winter Games. Right. Speaking of which. Uh, Plans. I know you you got the logo and everything yep. already for uh, number forty three three two. two. Sure. Yep. <laughs> Which is forty three. <laughs> forty three. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so uh, um, I know plans are getting ready for yep. number forty three. Well, and we can't show this, but you can see the the array of apparel that we have yeah. hanging on the wall there, and getting ready to to do some. Some picking on what we're going to have for apparel for one yeah. of the games. So All right. it'll be coming in here in the next month or so. And well, and of course, yeah, um, you usually debut that, and then this year will be on November 7th, I think, Correct. for the uh, annual meeting. Yep, for the, the annual meeting, Bridgeway. and that's uh, going to be at Arrowwood Resort this year. So yeah. uh, super excited to be back there and, and having the opportunity to showcase what they can do to our members. And yeah. uh, It's a, it's a, a great, great program. We're, we're really looking forward to it, Jeff. Uh, tickets are on sale right now at okabojichamber.com. Okay. Uh, it's $45 uh, per person if you're a chamber member. Uh, also, um, just as a reminder, networker level members, you get two free tickets. Promoter level, you get four free tickets. President's level members, you get six free tickets. And the Chairman's Council, you get eight free tickets yeah. to attend. So now, That's um, nice because you got people that, uh, they've got several employees and in the, in the, in the bigger uh, right package you get here as a chamber member. Yep, you can take them all to the annual meeting. Yeah, and we're we're looking forward. There's a lot of things that uh, we want to update the membership on, and that we're we're proud of the accomplishments that the chamber team has accomplished for our members, and uh, you know just things to benefit the members. And uh, Spirit Lake Chamber will be there and giving an update, and as well as Okaboji Tourism. Committee. Very good. All right, but we're not done. You know, I moved ahead. I. I was like king me. I, I jumped over an event here, and we've got uh, the uh, fall festival coming up at Camp Foster here we, soon. Yep, we sure do. Uh, Saturday, October 22nd, uh, we've got uh, um, a lot of businesses that have signed up to do activities, games, uh, crafts, things like that for the kiddos that day. Uh, we brought this back last year, as you might recall, yeah. Jeff, and uh, had over a thousand people in attendance. So, really looking forward to the continued growth of this event. It's a lot of fun. Ten to two on the twenty second of October. Yeah, at Camp Foster. Yeah, just a great for the whole family community tied event, and and utilize Camp Foster that uh, is so beautiful. Yep, especially it's October twenty second. Fall foliage is going to be and. 
It was absolutely beautiful, beautiful last year. Had uh, uh, the goats out there and bonfire with kids could do s'mores and yeah. you know it just was a lot of activities. Um, you didn't let the goats get too close to the fire, right? No, okay. they, they were in a pen. So <laughs> I don't know if they'll be there or not this year. Okay, so, but uh, it may be goat or no goat. Right, <laughs> Tom Brady. <laughs> Brady will not be there. Okay, all right. I, yeah, I do know that. He declined me. He, he did, does well. He, he has a so. job on the weekend. Right, so, you know, yeah. It's tough so. for him to get off work. Uh, it's a fun, a fun family event. Free, uh, free for anybody to come out. Uh, encourage the kids to dress up in costume and enjoy it and, and uh, have fun. It's very fun. good. Yeah. All right, my friend. Well, I appreciate you inviting me into your your beautiful. You call this the conference room? Where we you do go? Okay. conference room. Yep. And so, thank you for bringing me to your beautiful conference. Well, thanks room. for coming. Just yeah. nice banner behind us. <laughs> All right, my. Friend. And thank you for joining me here once again. My pleasure. Appreciate it, Jeff. Thanks for everything you do to, to help support the chamber. And thanks to all of our members out there, too. And if you're not a member, if your business isn't a member and you'd like information, uh, com or give us a call. Love to have your business as a member of the Chamber of Commerce. All right, because they'll be doing business for you. That's right. All right. Blaine and Dare again here for the uh, Iowa Great Lakes Area Chamber of Commerce. We want to thank you for watching us here on Okaboji Broadcast. Have a great weekend, a safe, safe weekend. We'll see you next week right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by the Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake, Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, A.J. Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. The headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday from 10 to 4. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. B Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. 